Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, iPod King Carter here. Today, we're going to be hopping into this crazy my career news that dropped today. Me, myself, I'm totally psyched, man. I've been going over the articles. I've been reading all everything from Operation Sports. I'm just baffled right now. It's, it's the time. This is really the time. And I feel like this is it, man. We're about to watch this trailer for a quick second. I'm going to watch it with you guys. Then we're going to go over it. All right, let's do it. Now that your career is progressing and your brand is growing, you will be challenged with managing increasing demands off the court. In between games, you'll have decisions to make on how to spend your off days. Will you refine your skill on the court and work on increasing your attributes in live practices? Do you want to earn fame and extra money by partnering with global brands? Or would you rather establish personal connections with some of the game's most influential personalities, which bring with them a variety of rewards? The choice is yours. All right, so after checking out that trailer, it seems to me that my career is finally ready to stand on its own two feet. Now, I know a lot of people are probably going to misconstrue that. What I mean is my career has always been patched up with something else. Like uh, it was my career in the blacktop. It was my career in my park. It was my career in the rec center and park all in one thing. But here it seems like 2K finally put my career in its own realm and just put it in a different space. Like what I just seen was something about connections, live practice and endorsements. Now in 2K recent years, in order to get an endorsement, you had to unlock something or you had to, you know, just play as many games to get like a sprint deal or something like that. You never had to choose what endorsements you actually get besides uh, Gatorade and I think Sprite. They were like the only ones you'd ever choose. But it seems to me like now this year, you actually have time to choose really if you even want to do an endorsement deal with a company at all. Like say for instance, uh, last year they had something with like a food uh, company or something like that. What if you don't want to do that stupid endorsement with that food company? Yeah, it will look great on your resume, but maybe you just don't want to do that. Maybe you want to go for something bigger and you can choose to do that. But they said that things take up time. Now, in an article on Operation Sports that I read, I went throughout this article probably about four times. I read it, revised it, read it, revised it, read it, revised it. I just kept reading it to make sure I totally understood everything that my career had to offer. Now, in this article, it said that you can choose between your connections, practice, and endorsements all in one. So, say for instance, you have practice one day. And maybe one day you might have a photo shoot with Gatorade. Do you go to practice or do you go to the photo shoot with Gatorade? Do you really want this deal with Gatorade to keep going through? Or do you want those attribute points to make your player better, shinier, you know, more fit? Or do you want to do a connection? Whereas though I seen something with the White Howard where, you know, you might want to go to a pool party or, you know, you might want to go out to a club or something like that. You can build relationships with different players for different signature styles. Now, this is the funny thing. Everybody knows if you want a 2K intro, like uh, LeBron's powder throw, something like that, you always can purchase it. Now, of course, when you equip it, sometimes it was harder to get it to work. But now it seems that this year they have you trying to actually build a relationship with past players, present players, and hopefully future players in the future. But to get like a LeBron James powder toss, maybe you got to come become buddy buddy with LeBron. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to go and play with LeBron in Cleveland. This just means you build a relationship with the guy. Maybe you play a game and he says, hey, you had a good game. You say, hey, you had a good game, too. And then like Sims, you get the little plus signs above your head like, oh, 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 you're my friend now. You we're buddies. Let's build. I think this is a great concept. This is really dope. Now, for the off days of the season, they said you have about 80 some odd days of off season. Well, not off season, off days for the season. So I'm thinking in between days, you can probably choose. Hey, maybe I want to practice this day because we got like uh, probably like a three day off stretch where we don't have a game for three days. Maybe I want to get some practice in. Or maybe you have a hectic schedule, whereas though you got about four games in one week and maybe you just want to chill with your homies, the connections to build with them during the games or between the games. And then for the endorsements, 
this is funny. This is like all my thoughts on how my strategy will be to become the best, the coolest, and how should I say the flyest when it comes to being endorsed. Um, so with the endorsements, I was thinking maybe do things during the week and not on the weekend. So say there's a photo shoot or something like that. Only do things like that during Monday through Thursday. But Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that's time where I build with my connections and also time where I get a lot of practice in. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to break it up because, you know, you still want to stay on your A game. You want to be able to be the best in the game. You want to get your attribute bars if they're going to bring that back or whatever that may be. So you want to practice, but also you want to build a relationship so you can get certain signature styles. Like uh, I was watching, uh, what was it, Chris Moon video, and he said that Allen Iverson's crossover is going to be in the game and that it will be unlockable and i'm like oh and he said that you got to play uh the connection route to get that from ai himself how beast would that be from my mom player david ipod king carter to get drafted to philly build a connection with alan iverson and then be crossing dudes with his crossover that he hit mj with back in the 90s what what that's crazy Okay, now let's talk a little bit more about the practice. I heard that the entire team is going to be there. Your coach, uh, different trainers, all different kinds of people will be in your little live practice. And they actually bring back drills. Now, drills are not new. Please, I don't want people to get the misconception that drills are brand new. No, they are back. They just came back. And I like that idea to actually do drills. I've been wanting to do drills for so long because in between games, it just seems like you're clicking X so fast to get to the next game in, in 2K games. And now that drills are back, oh my God, in order to get faster, in order to jump higher, in order to shoot better, in order to read the defense better, be a better on-ball defender. That's what I've been wanting from 2K. I want that realism. I want that realistic gameplay and feel. And I think that they're bringing it back. Now, the next thing is my court. My court. I know it deserves its own video, I know that, but I wanted to get it out the way here. My court is an experience where it's like rec center, my park, the blacktop, locker room, the customizing of my crew, all balled up in one with the play with friends feature. Like that's crazy. Now. From what I heard in everybody's video, I've been watching like everybody review videos. I've been watching Two Brothers Gaming, uh, Shakedown, Sub the Gamer, uh, who else? Um, who the heck? Who, no, I didn't watch that dude. But who else did I watch though? But somebody else I watched. I definitely watched Stags Jones. But um, oh, I watched the um the dude from Operation Sports. I, I read like some of his articles and stuff, and like was reading through his tweets. So, you know, I got a, a good generalization of what's going on. So basically with the whole my court thing, you literally can go to this my court, customize it the way you want, all the way down to the three point line, free throw line, whatever, hash marks, the rim probably could be a different color. You never know. So with that being said, you can invite your friends to that lobby, that world and play games, play from 1v1 to 5v5. Crazy. Now. To, for me to say this, to say that, I want to start running NBA 2K16 tournaments again. Me and Lay Aristocrat did a great job with last year's tournament. We did a good job with promoting it. Um, they were playing on different servers and everything, but with private lobbies, you don't have to worry about none of that. So what I'm saying here is everybody that's going to be playing my career this year, going to be playing Pro-Am, my park, whatever. I want to see you bring your team, your talent to my court. That's what I'm going to be running. I don't know when I'm going to be starting. Probably maybe the first week after 2K drops. I want to start these tournaments. I want to start getting teams together. So right here, right now, you, have, you guys have about a week and a half, two weeks. Get your team together. Get your point guard, the center together and get them ready. Get your names together, your logos, all of that, whatever you need to get together. I want you guys to do it because... I really want to start running tournaments and I think it will be awesome to bring the community together more like that because a lot of people always say, well, you know, 
I play with so many people that, you know, I don't have time to, no, I want to make time for this because this my court my court feature sounds incredible and the funny thing is they haven't said anything about pro-am or my park as of yet so i'm just like okay we got all this stuff for my career what is pro-am in my park doing what what this is crazy so just to give you guys a, a sped up version of what everything i just said my career for 2k16 is going to be crazy it's going to be a lot that you can do it's going to be a mode that you will not just play for the first two weeks of the game being out and then quit you're going to want to play this for probably about six months eight months oh forget it just do it the whole year from 2k16 to 2k17 play my career i'm just saying i'm just saying but check it out y'all i'm about to get up out of here i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh david i pocket and called a road to the hall of fame episode will be out later tonight as well as i'm gonna try to get some nhl gameplay and some uh other stuff going on. i got a lot going on i'm busy but um this is our casey signing out make sure you guys like subscribe and i'll see you on the next one bang bang